then Death Prophet won't have enough mana to just keep spamming up the Crypt Swarm, but at the same time, her bottom will actually be a lot more effective. Alright, we're, we're gonna couple of gate mechanism, but he'll put a ward behind, so we can watch the top, then now Mag. Uh, okay, Jonathan's in a great position. Mag's gonna jump south. That's the only way he's gonna get himself out of this one. But he leaves north, which means into Jotham as well as Cedoy. He had no vision up here, so he had no real chance of surviving this one. Yo, okay, he was considering a nightmare or denial. But not gonna happen here. So it's a one They've been training their asses off. They've been making sure they're ready to fight. Now they're gonna find always wanna fly. Almost worth a nightmare set up. Jonathan does have fish and mana. So there, there goes your nightmare. Wait a little bit out, the fissure, just make sure he stays blocked in. The Midnight Pulse is going to clean up a little bit of the tree waste, but it's not going to help out. That's a depressing depressing set of affairs right there. God, he does have his, his ultimate, and he's going to drop it up that one attack. Boom. There goes the Death Prophet. With the DD rune as well from the OD, that's why he was pumping out so much damage for having very extra 15 movement speed in for Yol. And they're going to try and rotate themselves down. There's two points under strike and they're trying to use it on Yol, but Yol, the brain sap, take away life force damage. Dude, you're on the outside of the rim. You could have walked yourself around that. The fish are too late in from Jotham. Cedoy not level 6 just yet, so no ravage available. But with the sting damage, the Crypt Swarm as well. Cedoy, the Kraken Shell breaks free of it. They turn himself a little bit off target there from Jotham. He's still got the bonus damage, but he wants the mana for the fissure, but he's short by an extra 15. Tidal die up on the up on the high ground. He was considering denying himself up to the ancients, but couldn't do it, couldn't get there in time. And now God's gonna harass Silent. So Silent can't flick himself away from this one, so we actually have to take the harassment. And always gonna fly as well. Well if Christmas coming off cooldown in one second. If he moves up, even the courier, well hey, the courier's standing on the high ground. But he's trying to make it to always gonna fly has to go down, which means he has to walk into Yol. Scandal now, Nightmare as well. Another imprisonment in two seconds time, but the Fissure, ah, uh, he blocked it perfectly on the stairwell. Another imprisonment, so they, they're gonna go for the uh, surround. Into the corner, totem stop for the hop, because of control. And the last attack in from the Bane will get the kill. He's almost got his own arcane roots now. In the meantime, Bane is most definitely in the tree line. So if he gets his fiend strip off, the Fissure, that's what sets it up. Silent will come in too, he took a lot of damage from the plasma field. A small glimpse is enough, but he got the brain stuff over on Silent too. How much damage stolen? 84 points. Not enough with just one hit to finish off the Queen of Pain. But now the wall is up, the Enigma's here as well, but Solo, there's still 84 points of stolen damage with the plasma field damage and the urn tick out. Solo will die, always on a fly. He was attempting the black hole, but the ravage hit from Cedoy is firmly planted a VP boot into the rear of Team M. We'll rush Midas timing. Are they gonna try to force the fight in bottom lane? Looks like Jotam and Yol. Yeah, smoke smoke actually uh, went off just then. Which means they know mags in the corner. So they catch the two supports at the back. The Chrono will go straight away and solo. There's no ultimate from him, but that ravage out from Cedoy. Hits always on a fly. Scandal is welcoming so much damage with the eclipse coming out from God. He's got enough damage to finish the job. Yol holds mag in position. They're gonna lose a hero right now, and they won't. Three heroes lost. Solo is uh, trying to get himself away from this one, but too much damage aren't quick enough. Silent is uh, blinking himself down the river. And Jotham also with his own blink dagger. Yeah, you see Silent. Scandal's coming in, and now jump up. Echo slams straight away. The boy will get a Chrono off, catching up both Jotham as well as Gold. Exits it from Scandal as well. Jotham, how many life points has he got? It's enough. He's walking back up through the tree line. Now BTC also on the front line, so Scandal. Well, the T1 town might go down. They'll still notice too. Oh, where the hell did OT? Ah, uh, it's up on top lane. Looks like they've committed... Uh, well, the oh, hello, middle lane. Oh, he's already killed Queen of Pain. Oh, a little bit too far. Because he's got to imprison himself. No, he doesn't. There you go, the Immortal might be lost right now. More support. Yep, there she goes. And uh, Jonathan is waiting for the jump. The Chrono is already down right now. He's going to let this bit drop. And the Echo Slam with the Ravage. Life points. They be evaporating. And GG. GG Empire curb stomp to the ground by Virtus Pro here in game number one. They'll have to work very hard to come back in game number two. BP. They're gonna be carrying a lot of momentum with them after a win like that. So definitely stay tuned. We've got more action coming your way. Game number two of Empire versus Virtus Pro coming up next and following that, Team Tinker. No they have themselves a date the with the Power Rangers, so stay tuned. There's a lot more Dota 2 coming up tonight on the Journal Live streams.